entertainment buzz. Little youth, unstoppable, don't know where train. Every zing fence, every lane. He got the empty the sky like plane. Several lawyer offices on Duke Street in downtown Kingston reportedly holding important documents related to Vibes Cartel murder case were destroyed in a fire. The building was shared by at least seven attorneys, including one representing alleged gang leader Tesha Miller. Senior Superintendent Patrick Gooden of the Jamaica Fire Brigade revealed that all documents in the building were lost in the fire. The building made of concrete and steel with slab and zinc roofing were severely damaged. Investigators focusing on the building's wooden flooring have visited the site multiple times to determine what really caused the fire. The York Park Fire Station responded to the fire at about 2.07 a.m. last Thursday, finding the building fully ablaze upon arrival. In response to the fire, a popular Vibes Cartel fan page accused the authorities of starting the fire. The post suggested that the fire was attempted to destroy files, but the page claimed that files are now stored digitally. Following Mother's Day, well-known personality dancing Rebel, whose real name is Christina Nelson, opened up about a difficult experience she had with a miscarriage. A video of Rebel discussing her miscarriage with her fans during a live session was recorded and shared online. In the video, she bravely shared some of the challenges she faced during that time, revealing that she didn't take any time off from work after losing her baby because she had bills to pay. She also recounted a situation at an event where Triple X noticed her behaving differently and asked what was wrong. Rebel explained that she had lost the baby and Triple X urged her to take a break and rest. But she refused because she needed to work to pay her bills. Continuing her story, Rebel recalled another incident at a work event in Montego Bay where her breast started leaking milk while she was with TC and Chini Unique. She had to use multiple pads to stop the leakage, but TC stepped in to help by sucking out the milk. Rebel expressed her gratitude towards TC for the support, mentioning that it was only after undergoing breast implant surgery back in 2022 and 23 that her breast stopped producing milk. In other news, in a heartfelt gesture for Mother's Day, dancehall artist Pablo YG reportedly gifted his mom a BMW. On the special day, Pablo shared a video online featuring his mother driving the sleek black BMW. As one of the rising stars in the dancehall scene, Pablo YG has been making waves with hits like Rich and Richer and seems keen on sharing his success with his family. Born Romeo Hines, Pablo YG chose to pursue his career in dancehall, foregoing further education at the age of 16. In the video, Pablo captures his mother skillfully maneuvering the car down the street. <laughs> Viewers commended the young artist for the devotion to his mother, praising him for ensuring her comfort and happiness amid his rising fame. Real you taking care of their mothers 100%. One viewer commented echoing the sentiments of many. If they were ever to make a movie about dancehall star being a man's life, he wants his son Messiah and Moses Jr. to play him. He has 12 kids and thinks it's obvious that his sons should play him because they look just like him. Beanie Man thinks Mosiah looks like him from the 90s so he could play him as well. He also says that Mosiah knows everything about him so he'd do a great job. Beanie also mentioned that his son Moses Jr. looks a lot like him from the early 2000s and could play him when he is older. 
He wants the movie to happen while he's alive, like how the singer Ray Charles got to make his own movie and choose the actor he wanted. Being a man hasn't watched the Bob Marley video movie yet, but is curious despite hearing mixed reviews. Being a man wants his movie to be called Art and Life after one of his best works. Sim,